I have gone through the Stardew Nexus and downloaded just about every fishing mod that most likely will work and will work together. You can see I got some craftable legendary fishing mounts up here. Definitely caught them myself at level 1 fishing in the start of spring. So obviously I have done a little bit of setup here. And you should notice right away, one of the biggest changes, this thing that is one of my absolute favorites, is the visible fish. So you can see them at every pond. There will be fish everywhere. You can customize the density and how many of them are there. I got a couple fishing ponds here. There's one where they're supposed to, I believe, jump out and potentially jump to other bodies of water. If that happens, that will be really cool, but we'll see if that actually comes about. We have our fishing rod here. You can see it is getting a little bit glitchy with how much is going on. But in the top left, it has all the fish that can be caught here and their percent chances of being caught, as well as where a fishing spot is whenever you're holding a fishing rod. So if I put that away, it goes away, bring it out, shows up again. So if we cast this into the water here, and anyway, I'm just level 1 fishing, although I do have an iridium rod. We will change that up a little bit later. Let's see if we can hook anything in here with all these fish. There we go. The fishing is also 50% easier with another mod. We can see we do have our fish showing on the rod as well there for catching it. And they are also animated. So there are a lot of changes going on here. I have jumped over to the ocean. And as you can see, there is a lot of fish out here. If we zoom out just a little bit more, you can see just how many fish are showing up. I don't believe every fish is showing up currently, and that will be because our fishing level is so low. So let's see if we can find a few more fish out here. So I've given us level 10 fishing. If we go check our stats there. We got level 10 fishing. Ooh, we do have an animated star. Is this a starfish? Starfish! That's pretty cool. The clam is animated as well. It is a little more subtle with that gleam across it. Let's see if we can find some other things on the ground. We've got a sea urchin. It does kind of wiggle about a little bit. And the coral... Unsurprisingly, doesn't really do much if it is doing anything at all. I did open up our mail here, and we do get, I believe it's a subscription to something. On the 10th of every month, we get some information here. You can pause that if you want to read that out. Uh, at some points, it does give you what fish you need to catch uh, for each season. So here is another piece of mail here. Our buddy Murphy has stopped by near Willie's shop. So that's something that's we will be looking at shortly as it will be on a Wednesday and just so happens to be a Wednesday today. The fish on the farm here look about what they were yesterday. Even though we have level 10 fishing, there might be a couple new ones. Jumping around a little more, we have moved on to Ginger Island here. I have noticed our overlay isn't actually showing all the fish able to be caught. So there is a lot of mods working here together, so that's totally okay. Uh, let's see the actual fish out here. So this has a few mods working together. I believe this is Stardew Valley Expanded, which has the coral and rocks in the ground. And there are tons of fish out here. Just have a look at all of these things out here. This is crazy. And it looks absolutely amazing. We are no clipping around a little bit, just so you can get a little better visual of everything. So it does look very, very cool. So now for one of my favorite mods, which I do use regularly, is the fishing trawler. So for those that aren't aware of this one, it is very awesome. Murphy here is going to take us on a trip. It's almost like a little mini game. We are going to set sail. Uh, would you like an explanation? Nope, I know what to do. He will tell you kind of roughly what to do. It is pretty self-explanatory, you will figure it out, uh, but it is very awesome, so props to whoever made this mod. So we get a bailing bucket, we can see nets, engine, and flooding. See so right click, we can fix the engine. Out here we can right click and fix the nets, and down this little hatch, 
Go get our paling. Oh, that has all the holes. Oh boy. Oh boy. And we are flooding. Our engine is failing. It gets a little bit hectic. So this mod does get a little hectic when you are playing by yourself. You can customize basically how difficult it does get. So we're on our last second here. Trip's finished off. It is goes based off your fishing level uh, for how many fish and what kind of fish you will uh, collect. So just afterwards they fill up in this bin here. So let's see if any of the modded fish got in or if we're just getting vanilla loot here. Oh, we did get some modded stuff in here. That is awesome. So that's a anchoviella, albino xenopus, freshwater shrimp, ladyfish, freshwater crab, fairy tail lionfish. And the rest are all vanilla stuff. They are animated though, so they do throw me off a little bit, but we got some very cool things. I would highly encourage checking out this mod. It is very cool. It is called Fishing Trawler. You can also get some flags from it, and those flags will uh, change elements of the Fishing Trawler. So go check that one out for sure. I'm going to do some warping around, and let's see if we can find some new areas if the visible fish are working or if the fish overlay is working there. In the sewers, it is a little hard to see, but we can see some mutant carp, some regular carp. It is a little hard to see, but they are showing up down here, so that's really cool. The secret woods are looking a little cramped in this little pond, but there is a lot of stuff in there. The town also has its fair share of fish in here. The mountain lake. And this is actually filled with water over here. Uh, it does have its fish in here as well. The forest is looking probably the most full out of everything. It seems the mod that adds the goldfish really takes over on the visible fish. It even seems in the modded areas we are getting some fish here too, so that is very cool. We are way down here in a forest on Stardew Valley Expanded. Let's see if Ridgeside Village is showing up. Well, it seems we do got a couple fish here as well. It doesn't seem as populated. Well, maybe it does. Let's no click down there and see. Oh yeah, we do got a decent chunk of fish down here. So it's looking pretty... It doesn't seem like it's showing their specific fish on here. But I might not be in the right weather or time or season or all the variables that affect fish. So I have gone through and made a couple changes. So I did make the scale a little bit bigger so you can see all the fish, as well as I've made it available all seasons, all times, and all weather. So every place we go look at now should look a little more diverse. Here's what the ocean looks like right now. So there's a lot of extra fish around. Let's no clip out and see what we can see. Well, I think there's a crimson fish there, so we got some legendaries. Go away, seagulls. That's a lot of fish. Here we are at the mountain lake. Can you spot a legendary fish in there? <laughs> the visible fish, unfortunately, aren't working in the desert, but you can see just a couple of the new fish that are showing up in here. Secret woods look about the same, maybe a little different. Ginger Island isn't looking too different from last time, I don't think. Maybe a couple more fish here and there. Moving on from that, we do have a new location which the bus will be taking us to, and that will be the Albatross Fishing Resort. Well, that jumps in right fast. <laughs> uh, let's go take a look around here. Can we just walk in? Well, we got some new people here. Looks like he is loosing. Okay. I don't know what all there is to do here. Can we buy something? No. I'll let you know when I find something interesting. Okay, I found a shop back here. It didn't seem to work either, but I did go out this door. It did st Oh, it is stalling a little bit. <laughs> I'll come back when it's normal. Okay, I think we're good. Can we can't shop here either. Maybe there's a conflict with another mod or something's not working right. The Jolly Roger Bay. Can we fish here? Let's see what we can find. It does say there is 
certain that music is very loud. There we go, I can hear myself think again. Let's see if we can catch something here. That's not just garbage. Oh, hit something. It's very cool that that fish does show up on the bar. I have made the fishing a lot easier. Just so you're not seeing me struggle. We caught a guppy. Not what I think a guppy would look like, but very cool nonetheless. What is... Th oh, <laughs> I'll come back when it's not broke. Okay, we seem to be working. The visible fish aren't here. There's someone's... Pirates have claimed this old warehouse better stay away. I would like to go in. Oh, I can't walk around that very well. I don't know if there's really a lot to do here, or if there's stuff that's supposed to be... Oh. Can I get to these guys? Well, we're just gonna do that, and we're over here. Oh, we can't interact with them anyway. And it's very... <laughs> Collision doesn't seem to be working. The, these look like the people from... These are the pirates that are pulled from Ginger Island in the cove. I recognize these. These other ones might be too, and they're just pulled assets, but... I'm not supposed to be down here. Oh, I did find a sign that says a river. I imagine it's gonna... Gonna crash a little bit here, yeah, and... We'll come back when it's normal. Oh, that was fast. What is that? Is that the music? What is that sound? Is there a different fish here? Oh, there's some kind of weird fish, it looks like. The sound is pretty awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, that is very loud. What? Okay, that apparently wasn't music. That's the ambient sound. Okay, there's the waterfall. Sewer gate there. It's like Grandpa's shrine. I, I don't really 100% sure what this place is supposed to be. We can catch something here. Let's let's fish here for a second, see what we find. Okay, we did catch whatever that is. Oh, it highlights green up there too. That's very cool. I didn't notice that last time. And we caught a aquatic Sicilian, possibly. This place is very cool. It just seems a little kind of glitchy and rough around the edges, but it's very neat. I think this is the last area. Let's go in this cave and see what we can find. It sounds like it's raining in here. Can we catch... Well, it seems to be only the one fish. And we caught the 20% chance of trash. <laughs> Let's try to get the fish again. And tra- is it not actually 80%? Are you lying to me over late? Oh no, there we go! Maybe we just got unlucky. We're catching whatever this fish is. It is a... Dragon Snakehead, that's cool. Seems like it's self a lot. We should try selling stuff later and see what... How much money we get. So I've pulled up one of the cheat menus here, and I just wanted to show you all of the fish that are currently added in, as well as it has the row in here, just because it's under the fish category. I will just gradually scroll through here, so you can take a look. I'm going to grab that one too. Cyclops shark. <laughs> So I'm grabbing some of the fish that I just personally think look kind of cool. And I'm going to let you guys guess which ones are going to be the most expensive and which ones aren't going to sell for too much. So maybe do like the top two expensive and the top two cheapest ones. will be in my two top bars there. So there is a lot of fish in here and a lot of them are animated. There's a few different mods that are animating them. Not all of them are, but the majority of them are. It's even like the rainbow shell. If you're wondering what that is, where it's usually that blue color, it is actually rainbow and animated now. So it looks very awesome. And if I am going through it too fast, you can always install these mods for yourself. Have a look around, play with them. See what fish you can catch. See if you can break the game or not. 
But yeah, that is all of them. We're going to go over to our shipping bin. And so we got a Blinky, which I believe is a Simpsons reference. Conger, Decapod, Fixer Eel, Frog, Jellyfish, Law, Great Firefly Squid, Fire Eel, Cyclops Shark, Brain Slug, which I believe is a Futurama reference, possibly. Stubby Squid, Wolffish, Radioactive Carp, Rainbow Snake, Piranha, Pebbleback Crab, Paku, and a Lunaloo. And just while we're in here, there is one other mod. It doesn't work for m majority of the fish, but it does work for all the vanilla ones, where it does say what weathers, what time, and the locations for them. So there's just a couple examples there. So it is something that is helpful if you don't want to keep looking to the wiki for when to catch it, how to catch it, and so on. But let's go to bed and let's see our top two and bottom two fish for profits. So we only sold one of each of those fish, so we did profit 23500 So I feel like possibly one of these is worth a ton of money and I did not realize it. Yeah, it looks like the law is worth 11250 Fix a reel is 1950 Blinky's only worth 15 gold. We got a 22 gold for the brain slug. And yeah, those so seems to be our highest and lowest are on the first page there. So there was the law was number one. Great Firefly Squid was number two. The bottom one was Blinky. The next highest was the Brain Slug. Not what I thought. I personally thought the Radioactive Carp was going to be worth one of the most. But it's uh, just kind of a decent profit still, but not the highest. If you were curious, this is what the collection looks like. The ghost fish is very neat where it kind of fades out. That's what that one is. I know that one off the top of my head. Uh, there are four pages, mostly all ant. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, some very cool fish you could find. So there is one more thing before I really try and break the game and see if it'll crash. There is one mod, I believe it's called Here Fishy Fishy. If you don't like the fishing minigame especially, and for some reason you want this, if you are holding a fishing rod, put your mouse over a fishing area and right click. Fishy, fishy, fishy! You can catch fish that way if you so choose. <laughs> so what we're doing to see if we can crash the game, we are cranking the maximum fish all the way up and putting the fish density all the way up to the max. This may very well crash the game, but we're going to see what happens. So as a really good stress test, we are going to go to the ocean. So we're going to warp to Willy's shop and... Oh, it's actually running really well. Let's zoom out here. Well, this is awesome. I'm surprised just how well it actually runs with this. It, this is, there's almost no lag. If I meant if I pull up my fishing rod with the other mods, it may get, oh, it's not even too bad still. No, whoever made this mod, they did a really good job optimizing it. This is awesome. Let's, let's do a quick look around then. We got Ginger Island here with the tons of fish out here. So I think that's where we will leave it with all these ridiculous amount of fish that are in no way comfortable being in here. And we will leave off this video for today with everyone's new favorite sound. Fishy, fishy, fishy!